what is going on gamers, Avatrix here and today we're going to go ahead and review Triantar, Trentar, Groot, Tree Man, whatever it is that you want to call him. We're gonna go ahead and review everything that he does. Now let's go ahead and just review his skill real quickly. It is called Battle Him and on this one at 6 of 10 it lets 4 allies take 35% less damage for 5 seconds. Now at 10 of 10 it goes up to 6 allies and this goes up to 50% now also during battle and it doesn't stay it uh, stated here but it's during battle in offensive game modes it temporarily revives 4 allies with 45% HP now again that will be for offensive game modes meaning when you raid when you do dungeons when you are doing lost realm um, hero expeditions those type of game modes are considered offensive even when you're doing arena for instance not defense in arena though because that will be considered a defensive game mode not for instance here be monsters or hero trials those would be considered defensive game modes and unfortunately he does not revive on those game modes and this is why a lot of times when I talk to people regarding him they automatic automatically think he sucks just because he doesn't revive in the defensive game modes but they forget his proc which basically negates damage any proc that negates damage can help you in defensive game modes because that's basically what you want is to negate damage um, so what we're gonna be go ahead we're gonna go ahead and do our here be monsters and just to show you what his proc can specifically do so we're gonna go ahead Run out here be monsters S and show you exactly what it does. Okay, let's do it. Alright, let's go ahead and do a here be monsters right now and show exactly what he does. Now he's not gonna be reviving again, but look at him. He shielded the main heroes that I needed shielding. Pumpkin Duke, Montanica, Vlad, those are the main heroes that I needed shielding. And it seems like he shields the same heroes over and over. You see Pumpkin Duke, Montanica. Vlad. He seems to, to proc on the same heroes over and over, but at the same time, he's procking on heroes that are very essential. Look, again, he's procking on Pumpkin Duke, and you know that when Pumpkin Duke does that, he he dies a lot. So, it doesn't seem like it's very random, but I'm happy on the way that he's procking. Another thing about his proc, uh, he does not need to hit anything kind of like warlock to actually proc so if his, his his bar is full right now he would actually proc right away now that can be good and that can be bad it can be bad in game modes like here be monsters but it can be very very good in game modes like the arena for instance so it's one of those things that it just depends uh, as far as the mechanics and how it works but you just gotta learn how to use it correctly Use it to your advantage, pretty much. Now we gotta wait for them to clear out some of this stuff here. Um, but yeah, this hero, the good things about him is that he's ranged, he his proc is global, and he doesn't need to hit. Um, he doesn't need to hit anything to actually proc. In here, be monsters. That's that's really really good because that can shield you, even if he's running like if he's attacking from here and then the wave gets killed and then there's a wave coming from the other side if he has full energy he's gonna proc right away and shield the heroes that are over here so that can go a long way so he, he's definitely not completely bad in here be monsters it's just that people were expecting him to revive and I think that's what really let down a lot of people and let them to say that he was useless but that's just definitely not the case he's very very useful now here we go, there's the shield, and again, that thunder got proc, but it barely did any damage. I saw my Vlad get proc on, my Motanica get proc on, but they did no damage. And I have no towers left, going into S or R5. Here we go. It's a far spawn, so that usually guarantees me a win, um, but here we go. He comes. He's probably going to get uh, attached to these first, so he's going to attack those, get himself some energy. There he goes, he procs, and he's procking on the ones that actually matter. 
Here we go. Don't let that spirit mage proc, or it might be game over. He definitely let them proc, but my hero base has survived. My pumpkin duke somehow is dead. Not sure exactly how that happened, but hopefully we can overcome it. Hopefully we can overcome it with some uh, shields. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see just how useful this shield can be in this situation, for instance. Here we go. He's coming in hot. He hits me. Now, is that shield going to be useful? Let's see. He kills my Vlad, but Motanica procs. Okay. Here we go. Now, he's... he's it, We're doing damage to him. Motanica's procking. The shield is up. It looks like we're barely taking any damage, and it looks like we're going to do it, regardless of what happens here. Look at that. The shield helps Mamo Tanika stay up for me to get this victory. Without the shield, I don't know if my all my heroes stay up and live, even though Pumpkin Duke died. So that's one example of how he can actually be useful. Would Santa Boom... Made me win on that one, probably, just because of the damage that he puts out and the slow. But, it shows you that he's definitely not useless, especially at the higher uh, skill levels. So that was my example there on a Hebe Monster run with him. Now let's see what other game modes we can go ahead and play around with. And we're going to go ahead and do some expeditions. There's actually a few things that I want to show here as far as what he can do. So we're going to go ahead and go to him. I think we passed it already. There we go. We're going to go ahead and put him. And we're going to go ahead and use Pumpkin Dukes. Let's just use Pumpkin Dukes, for example, okay? Now remember, Expedition, you are the one attacking. So that is considered an offensive game mode. So let's go ahead and show you something that you can actually do in these kind of game modes. So um, think of it as a little trick. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead. Remember. You, in expeditions, once you set out a hero like this, you cannot use that hero, the same type of hero, like I cannot use another Pumpkin Duke, unless this one dies, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and leave that one by himself. The point on this is to basically have him die, and I'm gonna show you what else can be done, okay? He's gonna be dying pretty soon here. Remember... Remember what I said, you can only have one type of hero, one Pumpkin Duke at a time, one Cupid at a time, and then if that, the original one dies, then you can set out a backup. So here we go, this, this Pumpkin Duke is going at it. Now he's drawn by the Vlad, and this Vlad is probably going to get a kill off. And there we go, Pumpkin Duke is dead. He's dead, right? So now that that Pumpkin Duke is dead... I can actually go ahead and summon another Pumpkin Duke, right? But look what Trentart does. Okay. This Pumpkin Duke is going at it. But take a look here, okay? Take a look at this grave. Only one Pumpkin Duke at a time, right? Nope. You can have more than one with Trentar. He will revive the fallen one. And it does not matter if you actually had a replacement already sent out you can possibly have two cupids two pumpkin dukes just a ton of damage two montanicas aries vlads the possibilities are endless so just just imagine how how much he could help you in expeditions if he if he can help you do two, double pumpkin duke procs double cupid procs that would be insane Another thing that he will be uh, useful for is definitely Lost Realm. With Lost Realm, let me see if I have some energy here. I should have some energy. Alright, let me see. Yeah, I have a card. So let's go ahead and use a card. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate here is that he does work when we're doing this. Now, well, what I would need is to remove everybody and have somebody go out there that will get killed almost right away. Yeah, like her. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll just use Cupid and Trentar. And maybe somebody else, maybe like him, just to ensure I win. But, watch this. That Marksman is probably going to die right away. There you go, Marksman's dead. 
No revive. Oh, but here comes a revive. And he's shielding. Look at that. So in Lost Realm, this this guy can be amazing if you need help beating a specific mob, like the one that has the Maltanicas. Um, and also taking your altars. He, he, just imagine if you can put him with an Atlanta core. That would be ridiculous. And not only that, remember that for here be demon there are demons that one shot heroes i believe it's the huge damage hero or the here be demon if you run into the here uh, the huge damage hero you can go ahead and put him out there and anytime the here be demon one shots one of your heroes it'll be back it will be back no matter what crest you have on him no matter if you have revive on them or not he will continue to revive them so that's another game mode I hope he'll be really good in. Okay, so let's see what else we can go ahead and around and play with. Once. All right, so the next game mode that we're going to be trying is Hero Trials. Now on, on this one we get Snowzillas, and these Snowzillas are going straight for Reaper. Like they don't care. They don't care. Sorry Reaper. Sorry man. Oh 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 Reaper. Oh oh and Reaper dies. But is Trentar going to be able to get? Reaper back alive. Remember, this is a defensive game mode, so he shouldn't. But we're gonna go ahead and just test it out, just to just to make sure the IGG is truthful in what they say. Since this is a defensive game mode, we're gonna go ahead and see. Here we go. Here we go. Now he's gonna come over here. Cupid's gonna go ahead and make him proc, he procs, but no reviving of any hero. So, again, defensive game modes are just not his mode, really. <laughs> Alright, so on this one, what we're gonna be doing is trying dungeons. Uh, as dungeon is considered an offensive game mode, he will shield on dungeons, also raids, and he will also revive the heroes. Um, so we only have about 15 seconds here for Cupid. Actually, no, never mind. Um, so let's go ahead and do an Expert Dungeon. Expert Dungeon 7, the one that we all love. And I'm going to intentionally mess up here. That way most of my heroes, probably a few heroes, end up dead. And that way you can see how he can save you in a dungeon. Especially if you're trying to get all of the flames to get here, for instance. So let me just mess up and drop the wrong way. Oh, I messed up. Oh, somebody's dead. Oh, somebody's dead. Somebody else is dead. But, nope. They're going to get a shield. Reaper's going to come back alive. There's Reaper back. You just saw him revive. And now, the dungeon is pretty much over. That dungeon would have been a horrible thing. Because Reaper dies. He comes off of the stun. He starts attacking. And it would have probably ended up on a loss. But because he was able to get Reaper back up, everybody started to go nuts. He shielded them from taking extra damage. And then that dungeon is a success. Now the only drawback for when you're raiding and when you're doing dungeons is that if the hero does die, he will return through that dungeon without any sort of time limit on the dungeon for him to live. But when you come back, the hero unfortunately is going to be dead yeah i mean can't do much regarding that but what can you do now let's talk mesa and wretched gorge now off of the symbols alone you can pretty much tell where he would work and where he would not work mesa is considered an offensive game mode because you are you are the one doing the attacking so he would actually work in mesa if you are a lower level player and you don't have a lot of a lot of uh, heroes, but you have him, he can turn the battle. If just imagine the, the times that you were running a Mesa and that Pumpkin Duke dies that were kind of carrying the team, and now it's lost. Well, with Trantard that would not happen. That Pumpkin Duke will come back, probably get healed up to full, and you're back in the running. So he's actually probably one of the better heroes to bring in store Mesas. Especially if you have, uh, like, you just do random with random people and less coordinated. He is one of the best heroes to have for messes. Now, unfortunately for Wretched Gorge, 
that is a defensive game mode. You are the one being attacked. So, unfortunately, in that kind of sense, he would not work. Now, the shield would still work, but just not him. Unfortunately. Now, so, basically, what do I think about him? Here's basically what I, I think about him. Triantar is going to be essential when it comes to Lost Realm, Dungeons, uh, Mesas, especially Mesas and Lost Realm and Here Be Demon. That's where he's shining right now. But I also think that in this new game modes that are coming out, um, where one is kind of like the Lost Realm where you set the heroes, and also with the new boss, the boss 4, I think Triantar is going to play a vital role. And he definitely definitely doesn't suck whatsoever now the last thing that I want to show you guys is arena because arena is where I feel like he's shining the most right now and I'm gonna be showing you some footage of uh, Smitty powers he uh, let me use his videos to show um, how he would work in arena head-to-head -head and also open lane and on a lane all by himself so let's go ahead and go over those videos. They're probably not the best quality, but it shows you what he can do in Arena. So let's go ahead and jump right into those. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you is head to head. Now watch him. He goes ahead, he procs, he shields, but the Santa Boom goes off. And you're thinking, oh my god, this is going to be the end, but nope. His proc and his ability to... Oh, whoop! Look at that. He procs without touching anything. That was his proc actually letting them live a Santa Boom proc, which is huge in Arena. Now, on this one, we're pretty much watching a head-to-head -head battle and sending him on an open lane. But, unfortunately, it looks like we're, we're losing there in the bottom lane. And, oh, never mind. He revives the heroes and then you're back in business. Oh, here comes Ares. So that was a loss that turns into a win. Now again, we send him on his open lane. We go head to head. And it looks like we're going to win. But that Motanica just and the Santa Boom. Uh, mainly the Santa Boom really uh, destroyed us. So he's the only one there. He gets destroyed. But he has revive. He has revive. And look. <laughs> he revives them. He saves them from dying from the Santa proc. And then look. He brings everybody back. And then on this last one here. It's just straight on head to head. Manpower versus manpower. It, oh the Motanica used his breath. And that usually means uh, we lost. Oh no 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 we haven't. No we haven't. Look at this. He brought them back to life. He died himself. But look. It ended up being a victory because of him. Okay, so now now that you've seen that a crazy, crazy arena run where he pretty much carries the team on most of them, I hope a lot of people's opinions have changed about Triantar because I've run into him being called useless and that he sucks. But really, if you really look at what he brings to the table and what he does, he far, he is very, very far from sucking. Now, he's probably not an essential hero, like a Pumpkin Duke, a Cupid, even Vlad. But I think he's in the tier right below them. He's in the tier with the, uh, let's see, the Ares, the Maltanicas, where they're not essential. Um, unless you're doing Arena with Ares. They're not really essential, but they are really, really powerful if you use them in the right way. He definitely doesn't suck. I think... He's going to be a vital part of all of the coming updates. IGG knows what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that you, you guys liked uh, the review. And maybe I changed some opinions about him and what he brings to the table. But yeah, thank you, for, thank you guys for watching. And until later.